The rest of this module is going to introduce a third use of accumulators. But what I want to do is introduce that in the context of a somewhat real problem. So it's actually going to be a set of videos here as we together kind of work through this problem. So this part of the module will be a review of what we've done so far and this new kind of accumulators. It's going to take some work and it should be fun. So I'm in same house as parent V1 and what we're going to work on in this set of videos is a descendant family tree which I've modeled after Harry Potter. So it's wizards in a descendant family tree. And for each wizard we need to know their name, the house that they're placed in, which matters in Harry Potter movies, and their children. Now what I'm going to do in the videos in order to make things fit on the screen is I'm going to use names like A, B, C, D, and for houses I'm going to use G, H, R, and S. Okay, you can, in your version of it, do something better, but that's what I'm going to do just to make stuff fit on the screen. So what I want you to do first now, before you start the next video, is go ahead and design a representation of wizard family trees as described in this problem. Get that done and then pick up the next video. I really do encourage you to do it because in order to understand the more complicated work list accumulators that we're going to get to, it's really going to help you to have this whole problem in your head. So I'll see you on the other side of the break.